Okay, we're going to have a quick look at chord shapes with bass top notes. So that's D, D chord at the bottom with an F sharp bass. That gives you the idea of where we're going with this. So, sticking with the D shape at the moment, you should be able to move one finger, and I'm choosing finger number two, and I'm moving it off the F sharp so that E will ring open. And that gives a form of D5. So that's D5 with an F sharp. You can add your pinky in. You can do that with or without the bass note. And that makes with the pinky is D suspended. Okay? Very useful chords. D5 chord that frees up a finger to move around for bass notes. It's D with a C bass. Slight move of fingers, you can play D with a B bass. Very useful chord. So you've got D with a C, D with a B, D with a B, F sharp, D with a G bass. Okay, try your own. Very easy. Okay, this looks something a little bit more complicated. A B minor chord. Played as an open chord, so you've got the open E at the bottom. Play the open E at the top too. Makes it B minor with an E bass. Add the F sharp. Move up to the G. something fun for the bass player to play. So you're just strumming B and he's got B, E, F sharp, G, back to F sharp, with B to B. Okay. Lots of fun to be had with movable bass lines. And I do recommend you try your own. And remember, if you've got really good at the D one, remember D's a move chord shape. And more so with a bass note. Just remember, sometimes you can't play these open in the middle. So you claw, the shape so you're pouring the D chord and the F sharp bass in lots of places on the fretboard. Okay. If you hadn't discovered yet, C is a movable shape. It's very handy as a D chord up there. 